Spooky season is among us, and we're here to bring you the latest news right here on the Laser Exclusive. Welcome back to the Laser Exclusive. I'm Owen Quet. And I'm Josh Labras. Let's dive right into the headlines. Since there was not much happening around campus last week, we'll be going over the biggest headlines happening in the Boston area and around the world. If you love to travel and are looking to find flights from Boston to Europe, JetBlue has you covered. Starting in 2024, JetBlue will now be offering transatlantic flights from Dublin, Edinburgh, and Paris from Boston. The additions of Dublin and Edinburgh will be the fourth and fifth additions to the JetBlue's transatlantic markets. A 37-year-old man has recently been arrested after being charged with assault and malicious destruction of property after vandalizing a crucifix statue outside of a Boston church this past Wednesday. Police stated that they received a call around 6.14 p.m. on Tuesday for a suspicious person who knocked off the female's victim's headwear and then climbed up on the cross, where he began swinging and hanging from the statue, resulting in approximately $20,000 worth of damage. The combined Jewish philanthropies of Greater Boston has raised an astounding $45 million for the Israel Emergency Fund, which was formed immediately after the attacks on Israel by Hamas on October 7th. The organization has received over 5,000 donations ranging between $2 to millions of dollars to provide aid to the victims of the attacks. The FDA is now looking into the death of a 21-year-old college student who drank Panera Bread's charged lemonade. The family of the student, Sarah Katz, stated that she had a heart condition which was worsened by the intake of the highly caffeinated beverage. She went to cardiac arrest soon after consuming the beverage due to the high concentration of caffeinated contents in the drink. The victim's family have since filed a lawsuit against Panera and hopes that this will prevent future incidents such as this from occurring. The city of Orlando is moving forward with their plans of building a memorial on the property of the Pulse nightclub, where 49 people tragically lost their lives seven years ago. City leaders agreed to the $2 million purchase of the property on October 23rd. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer said that they plan to take a collaborative approach, working with the families of the victims to create a memorial. The NHL has rescinded its ban on the use of rainbow pride tape after backlash from fans and LGBTQ sports advocates. The league, players union, and an inclusion committee have agreed to give players the option to represent social causes with stick tape during warm-ups, practices, and games. The record-breaking hit Marvel video game Spider-Man 2 has received high praise amongst critics and fans alike, but many players have taken to social media to ask the developers of the game to fix some visual aspects in some of the game's cutscenes, particularly a scene which shows the Cuban flag hanging on the wall of Miles Morales' home, despite the character having Puerto Rican heritage. The mistake was pointed out all over Twitter by players of the game, clearly recognizing this visual mistake made by the developers who had integrated in numerous references to the character's heritage throughout the game in previous scenes and dialogue. On Thursday, Insomniac Games put out a statement on Twitter stating, Today's patch corrects an error where the Cuban flag was incorrectly displayed instead of the Puerto Rican flag. We understand that accurate representation matters and greatly regret this error. We sincerely apologize and will do better in the future. That's all for the Laser Headlines this week. I'm Owen Quet. And I'm Josh Labras. Join us next time for the biggest news stories across LaSalle, Boston, and across the world.